because uh, when referees' names uh, are ringing bells, they're usually alarm bells. Well, the but whistle has gone, so Andrew, take us through the first half of the first half. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Rovers sticking to their task at the back. That's a good ball to open up space. It's well won by Leach. Leach driving forward. Might think about a shot. Does get the shot away, but it's just too high and over the bar. But good play. Oh no, I, I see the referee does have a microphone, so well, maybe, um, maybe they are. That's the way they communicate with each other nowadays, but yeah. it was a wee bit naughty from Doherty just leaving a foot in, but there's a, a brave header forward by Wilson who drives forward towards the edge of the area. Still, Callum Wilson, a great shooting chance and just pulls the shot wide. That was a real opportunity. Sure. For, and I think we're in a better position than even Brian Reid to see that when it was definitely offside. Yep. That's 5 you now. Out wide to McIntosh once again. Yule making the overlapping run. That's where it goes. Yule driving in towards the edge of the area. Cuts it back. Great chance. It's blocked. It was McIntosh who continued the run into the area. Who got the Benny sh- will take the free kick. Long up the park. Off the head of Morgan Neal. Scullies it in there. Loses out though. Ball forward. And here comes... Shot comes in, blocked. Albion Rovers with opportunity again. Second shot, and that's not far away from uh, Michael Mullen. There away by Linus. Yule now. McIntosh. Took the ball there from Meganson, but uh, his first touch let him down there. Late McIntosh, but Cove have it again with the uh, 5 eight. Still, Cove, the shot comes in. Good save. From our company. In the second half of this game, as we're off and running once again, Cove kicking off the second half, playing from left to right. But uh, I think they're, they're down yet, to nope. 10, but we'll just keep an eye out. Their dugouts are way to our left, but here's Adiemo racing down the right hand side. His first action in a blue shirt for Cove. Knocks it back to Blair Yule. Yule delivers the cross into the middle the head on it's just inches wide from Mitch Meganson Scully can't quite link up with McAllister but gets the ball back again out it goes to Jamie Masson Masson to 5 eight. now out to Adiemo Adiemo brings it under control can move inside tries a left foot shot and that was well struck and it was dipping and that was good safe handling there from the, the goalkeeper Binney because McAllister was there ready for any spillage. A good effort from Adiemo. Yeah, fair play. One thing in his mind there when he picked up the ball and a good left foot shot which was on target had to make the goalkeeper make the save. Just too direct at the goalkeeper to, to cause him real plob- problems. But here's Rovers breaking forward. Wilson into the middle. It comes now to the number 11 and Mullen's shot. Well held by Gourley. Well, you don't see Meganson in the box, but the throw in's taken to Masson. That's not behind for a corner kick to Cove, their fourth of the game. And it's Masson who's over there to take the corner kick. Drives it in towards the far post. Morgan Neal! And that's a good save by Binney. Neal came in at the back post, got the head. Right, foul there by Scott Ross. That'll be a free kick to. The visitors taking quickly. Wilson, David Wilson, that is to O'Donnell. Cross comes across. Oh, still there. The on loan player is that ball eventually smuggled clear, and Fraser Fivey knocks it out to Masson. Plays it back, Scully. Masson tries to dummy that, but it f- falls through to Leslie, who clears it. Back again come Cove now with Milne. Milne might think about a shot but plays it out. Ball into the middle and he's touched and that's a goal from Mitch Meganson. Well worked goal. Saul started off with uh, Harry Milne down the left hand side but I would say it actually started with Masson. Low in this time and straight out for another corner. Wasn't that wasn't great. <laughs> that was the commentator's curse there Indeed. Andrew. Had plenty of those down the years. Absolutely. Masson this time. Deep when the header comes in! 
Rory McAllister with goal at number 10 for the season and with nine minutes remaining comes back to now Fivey Milne forward to McAllister lovely play by McAllister back to Harry Milne still Harry Milne and then Adi Yemo ball just bounced over his foot and that's great play by the sub yet again plays it into the middle header comes in and there's goal number three Jimmy Masson this time and uh, Cove Rangers 3, Albion Rovers 0, a scoreline that perhaps doesn't... Looking for Max Wright, the substitute, who gets there. Under pressure from Morgan Neal, got the shot in and uh, didn't quite catch it right and it was easy for Kyle Gourley, but uh, again, it was on target as the ball's out to Scully, now 5e. Through to Meganson. Mengenson, lovely ball through to McAllister, check, still Rory McAllister, and then puts it in as number four, Rory McAllister now on 11 for the season, just a minute and a half to go, and played no small part in the, the turnaround in the, the game. Yule, forward by Yule, comes off the head of McAllister, 5 -y. Away by Fagan, looking for the substitute right, who's onside. It's one and one with Kyle Gourley, and he threads the ball, and it comes off Gourley into the net. He's going out for a, a cove throw. Some confusion amongst well, the, the I th players. I thought the ball came off Harry Milne, but referee referee's taking the easy way out, but yeah. only full time Aye. whistle. So it's finished here, Cove Rangers 4, Albion Rovers 1, and Dave, if the first half didn't have too much going for it, that second...